unitary matrix. Just now we discussed Hermitian and skew Hermitian. This is just like orthogonal matrix. You know in real matrix, orthogonal matrix, A into A transpose equal to A transpose into A equal to Y. Similarly here, in complex, a square matrix is said to be unitary if A into A power theta equal to A power theta into A equal to I, then we can call that one as unitary matrix. So these three are called complex matrices, Hermitian, skew Hermitian, unitary matrix. These are types of matrices in matrix ma real and symmetric matrix. Next coming to our actual topic. You all know what is matrix. Now I am going to discuss what is submatrix. Submatrix. Submatrix is the matrix obtained from actual matrix by deleting some rows or some columns or both. We call that one as submatrix. Matrix obtained by deleting some rows or some columns or both, we call that one as submatrix. What I am saying, for example, A is a matrix like this. A is a matrix like this, 3 by 3 matrix. If you delete one row also, we can get submatrices. One column also, you will get submatrices. So, if I delete first row, ma, what you will get? 2, 4, 5. 3, 5, 6. If I delete first column, first column, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 6. This is also submatrix. So submatrix means you can delete one row, one column, or both. First row, first column, if I delete, what I will get? 4, 5, 5, 6. So like this, one can easily obtain submatrices. Submatrix means obtained from actual matrix by deleting one row like this, one column like this, both row and column like this. Determinant of submatrix is called minor. Determinant of submatrix is called minor. Minor means debt. Debt of submatrix. So you, know, you all know how to find determinant for 2 by 2 matrix. But here, Especially, we will take a square submatrix. Determinant of square submatrix. How you will get square submatrix from actual matrix like this only? This is square. Order of this matrix is 2 by 2. A matrix is said to be square if they have same rows and same columns. So this is square matrix. So to get square matrix from the given matrix, square submatrix, you have to delete one row and one column. That's why what I am saying, for submatrices, you can easily remember, by deleting a row and column from the actual matrix, we will get square submatrix, because we are going to use square submatrix for further applications. That's why we can remember, submatrix means, a matrix obtained from actual matrix, by deleting one row and one column. So here we have one example A equal to 1, 2, 3, 3, 4, 5, 4, 5, 6. So if you want a square submatrix for this, what you need to do? You need to delete one row and one column. So I am deleting first row and first column. I will get a square submatrix square submatrix of order 2, 4, 5, 5, 6. Similarly, if I delete first row and first column, again I will get one more matrix. This is also square because its order is 1 by 1. Its order is 2 by 2. So for this square submatrices, if you can evaluate debt, then <coughs> That debt is called minor. Determinant of submatrix. Now I am going to find debt for this matrix. Determinant. Minor. To calculate minor, find debt. 4, 5, 5, 6. Debt means you need to write the elements in strike lines. Ma. If you write like this, this is debt. 
to find determinant of this matrix, you need to apply well-known determinant formula AD minus BC. This is A, B, C, D. AD minus BC. 4, 6 is 24. 5, 5 is 25. 24 minus 25 minus 1. Coming to here, this is single element. Determinant of this single element is say 6. So now, this minus 1 is called minor. This 6 is also called minor. These two can be differed by its order. This minus 1 is calculated from 2 by 2 matrix. That's why minus 1 is minor of order 2. Order 2. Its order is 1. So that's why what I am saying. Minor means determinant of square submatrix. If submatrix order is M, its minor order is M. If submatrix order is 3, minor order is 3. If submatrix order is 2, minor order is 2. If submatrix order is 1, minor order is 1. So that is minor. If you write sign for minor, that one only we call that one as cofactor. Cofactor means nothing. Sided minor. Sided minor is called cofactor. Sided minor means like this. Minus 1 whole power i plus j minor. Here i j means the position of element in the matrix. For example, you need cofactor sign of 1. Where you are having 1 in first row, first column. So, I represent row, J represent column. First row, first column. First row means I1, first column means J1. 1 plus 1, 2. Minus 1 whole square, plus 1. Similarly, for second, 2. Second element, 2. This is in first row, second column. I is 1, J is 2. 1 plus 2, 3 more. Minus 1 whole cube, minus. So like this, alternatively you will get plus, minus, plus. This is called cofactor signs. So generally, we are not going to use cofactor for further applications, but to calculate determinant of 3 by 3 matrix, we need cofactor signs, just signs only. That's why I said how to find cofactor signs. Without knowing this minus 1 whole power i plus j, value, you can easily mark cofactor signs alternatively, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, like this. Okay, mark? This is minor cofactor. The next one related to minor we are going to discuss, that is rank. Rank. The most important topic in algebra and calculus <coughs> and matrices, rank. Finding rank of a matrix. To find the rank of a matrix, first of all, you need to understand what is minor. Just now I said what is minor. Minor means determinant of submatrix. If you can calculate minus like that, in that minus, for a, for a square matrix, if you calculate minus, there may be 3 or 4 minus. If it is 3 by 3 matrix, you will get 3 minus. In that 3 minus, highest order non-zero minor. Highest order non-zero minor is called highest order non-zero minor is called rank. Highest order non-zero minor. What it means? We will discuss this one very clearly with one example. If A equal to 1, 2, 3, 3, 4, 5, 4, 5, 6. Now, Order of this matrix is 3 by 3. First, I am calculating debt. Debt A. Just now I said how to calculate debt. Ma. To calculate debt, you need to give cofactor signs. The cofactor of first element is plus, minus, plus. So, plus 1 into 1 corresponding column row eliminated. The remaining 4 elements debt you need to find ma, using AD minus BC formula. 
4 into 6, 24. 5 by 25. Minus 2 into 2 corresponding column, row eliminated. Now that means second column first row eliminated. These four elements were having 3, 6, 80 minus 4, 5, 20. Plus 3 into 3 corresponding column row is eliminated. Ma. 3, 5, 15 minus 16. Now calculate ma, what you will get. 24 minus 25 minus 1 minus 2 into 18 minus 20 minus 2 plus 3 into minus 1. So what you will get ma? Minus 1 minus into minus plus 4 minus 3. So minus 1 minus 3 minus 4 plus 4 0. So this is 3 by 3 matrix debt. Value is 0. Now I am finding sub matrix for this by deleting one row and one column. Next, A2 by 2 sub matrix that is 4, 5, 5, 6 ma. Order is 2 by 2 ma. I am finding debt for this. Debt 4, 5, 5, 6 equal to AD minus BC. 4, 6 is 24. 5, 5 is 25 minus 1. Now, again I am finding one more sub matrix. 1 by 1 by deleting 1 row and 1 column. 6. Its order is 1 by 1. So, determinant of 6 is 6. Now, see ma. This 0 is minor. This 0 is minor of order 3. This minus 1 is minor of order 1. This 6 is minor of order 1. This minus 1 is minor of order 2. What I said? 0 is minor of order 3. This is also minor but its order is 2. This is also minor but its order is 1. Now, what is rank? Highest to order non-zero minor. Highest to order non-zero minor means here minor that A have value 0, its order is 3. This is minor of order 3, but its value is 0. It won't become rank because highest to order non-zero minor. So 3 cannot be ranked. Next, coming to the next one. This minus 1 is minor of order 2. This 6 is minor of order 1. These two are not equal to 0. In these two, which has highest order, that order becomes rank. It has highest order, this becomes rank of this matrix. Rank of A is 2. Why? Highest order, non-zero minor is 2. So what you understand from this definition, if your matrix has order 3 by 3, if you find that, if you get 0, rank is not equal to 3. Then what you need to do? You need to delete one row and one column. Next, you will get 2 by 2 matrix. Here, if you get not equal to 0, then rank becomes 2. No need to find next one because that is non-zero, highest non-zero minor. For example, in the initial states, if I won't get 0, if I get some non-zero number, then what is rank ma? Rank becomes 3. That becomes highest order non-zero minor. So, like this one can easily find out rank by calculating debt. There is another definition for rank, actual definition of rank, we say that one. So, that one I am going to discuss now. A is a non-zero matrix if its rank is R. If A is non-zero matrix, if its rank is R, then what happens? Every R plus 1th order minor. Every R plus 1th order minor is 0. There exists at least one minor. There exists at least 
1 minus half order r half order r not equal to 0. Are you clear? Ma? So this is actual definition of rank. I will uh, compare these two definitions so that you can understand. Meaning of these two is same. Highest order non-zero minor is rank. I said actually. But actual definition is if A is a non-zero matrix. For zero matrix rank is zero ma. And one most important thing you need to remember is most important no note. Rank is unique. If you find rank for one matrix, if its rank is two, you have to get two. Like in bus. Next, rank of non-zero matrix is non-zero. Rank of non-zero matrix is non-zero. Like that, what I'm saying, A is a non-zero matrix. We say R is rank of that matrix if it satisfies two conditions. Every R plus one order minor equal to zero, there exists at least one minor of order R zero. So here, that's what I written with this example. That's what I explained with this example. Rank of this matrix we decided. What is rank one? Rank of this matrix. Rank represented like this one. Row. Row of A means rank of A. Rank of A2 decided from this example. If rank is 2, what this definition says? If rank is 2, 2 plus 1th order minor, 3rd order minor, minor of order 3 should be 0. There exists at least 1 minor of order R. There exists at least 1 minor of order R not equal to 0. 1 minor of order 2 not equal to 0. That's what actual definition says. But meaning of both are very equal, not approximately equal both are. But here what you need to remember, order of non-zero minor. That gives the definition. Highest order non-zero minor is rank. Which can be defined in another way. If R is rank of one matrix, then Every R plus 1th order minor is 0. There exists at least one minor of order R not equal to 0. Basing on that, if a matrix is 3 by 3, if its debt is 0, then rank should not be 3. If debt not equal to 0, then rank equal to 3. Like that, one can easily understand the rank definition. Are you clear, Mark? What is rank? Rank means highest order non-zero minor or uh, if matrix rank is R, R plus 1th order minor 0, R third order minor not equal to 0. So that is rank.